Hello lovely people. I'm here today with this perfectly creamy lasagna recipe. Guys, this mouth-watering delight is sure to satisfy even the pickiest of eaters. Oh yeah, get ready to indulge in layers of ooey gooey cheese. Let's begin. In a light pan, add 500 grams minced meat. Alternatively, you can add a three tablespoon olive oil. Heat on low heat or add the vegetables before adding the minced meat. In this process, I'm cooking the meat first. Add some seasoning, uh, all purpose seasoning, one uh, teaspoon. Let's use a potato masher to break up the meat. After cooking the minced meat for five to six minutes, add your onions. Cook the onions until it becomes soft with the ginger, three cloves, garlic and one teaspoon ginger paste. Let's prepare our lasagna sheet. If you are using oven ready lasagna sheet or fresh lasagna sheet, pre-cooking is not necessary. However, to fasten the cooking process, I add it in a hot water. Ensure you separate the sheets with a fork or add olive oil in the water. Let's go back to our sauce. Add 400 grams of chopped tomato plum. Add one teaspoon paprika. If you have tomato puree, please add two teaspoons. Add one teaspoon smoked paprika. If you have bay leaves, add two bay leaves. Add two small chopped carrots. Add two celery sticks, finely chopped. Stir everything together until well combined. Next, add one teaspoon of pepper sauce. This pepper sauce is mixed of garlic and ginger. Continue to stir. On the side, let's make the white sauce, aka bechamel sauce. You will need about 75 grams to maybe 100 grams butter. Add half a cup plain flour, that's about 60 grams. Stir very well, rigorously. Measure about 560 ml, semi skim milk. If your white sauce become lumpy, there is an easy way to make it so creamy. All you need to do after cooking this for three to five minutes, transfer it in a blender and blend and you have a smooth consistency like this, smooth. Just to mention when adding the flour or the milk, ensure you do it gradually. Add a little bit of uh, all purpose seasoning or salt. Um, you can add ginger, garlic if you wish. Um, make sure you add your cheese with the mozzarella and uh, based on how thick you want your sauce you can either add more milk or none at all at this stage add some black pepper for additional season when you get the consistency you need you can put the sauce aside meanwhile Heat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius to 160. That's gas number four. Now let's layer up the lasagna in a baking dish. Spread a spoonful of the meat sauce over the base. Cover with a single layer of the pasta mm -hmm. sheets. They are not fitting, just snap them to ensure that they are fitted properly. Let's top it with our sauce, the white sauce. Bechamel sauce, they call it. Let's make sure that all the ends are covered. Next, add a spoon over a tart of the meat sauce. And repeat the process uh, until you get all the layers. So you will continue to do this. The last stage would be to top it with a parmesan or mozzarella cheese. If you have both, you can combine them. If you are new to my channel, and you have watched my video until this time please hit the follow button subscribe share and like now we are here at the final stage as i indicated add your cheese the more the merrier let's transfer our lasagna in the oven 
bake for about 40 to 45 uh, minutes until piping you know they say piping hot hot or crisp and bubbling on the top this looks absolutely amazing you know when you do such a fabulous job and you are so amazed and proud that's how i felt time to serve the lasagna if you intend to freeze the lasagna you would um, allow it to cool completely before transferring it to an airtight freezer safe container or sealed freezer bags i have enjoyed making this recipe if you have enjoyed watching it and wish to try it or if you have tried it do not forget to leave your comment below thanks for watching have a lovely day